We did spend a lot of years apart. The question. The question. The question. That's the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did spend a lot of years apart. I think it was because we felt we were very different and that we had nothing to say to each other. Simple as that. In the first few moments when Bianca and I got back together, it wasn't about music. It took several months before it became about music. Um, but our activities stemmed and were drawn from the same source and the same reservoir of um, energy and inspiration that we work with still today. But yeah, it, it was. It was kind of, it was a very explosive time for us, and... We were doing a lot of exercise, actually. I would, I, I would, um, I would jump, we would dress up and, like, drink champagne at dawn and put all this insane makeup on, and I would jump up onto my, this little balcony in my room. It was just a tiny, tiny little apartment, and the bed was up in the air because there wasn't much space. But I would jump onto the balcony, the bed, and then I would put my legs around Bianca, her back, and then I would do pull-ups and she would do squats, like a two-person thing. <laughs> so we both like, got this insane workout and then we would switch. We never anticipated um, creating something that's feminine and, and delicate and introverted. We were coming in a very barbaric, belligerent, um, very macho kind of intense state of mind. We were feeling very liberated. We were yeah. like running the streets at night and like like attacking men. Yeah, just like really feeling our strength. That was really, part of our exercising. We we're just like really no one to mess with us. A primal air, a primal, you know, a primal part of ourselves, and I was really going into the masculine, like, role. And boxing, I was taking boxing classes. And just listening to pretty much gangster rap. And, and, and maybe, you know, envisioned our music coming out really gangster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, when, right when we first started, um, we didn't think too much about what was happening. But I think there was a, like, the bottom line uh, 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 assumption that it would be very hardcore. I'll wait for you until the streets become sand. And all the ceilings in New York have come down. I'll wait for you until the stars dominate the skies again. I'll wait for you until the streets become sand And all the ceilings in New York have come down I'll wait for you until the stars dominate the skies again It's hard for us to trace our influences we have this song, Techno Love Song, which has a very, to us, has this very old-timey kind of, like, early American kind of, like, housewives all singing in this, we see this little black and white cartoon, but, you know, it, the, the whole song started with this reference to our early experiences with techno music and a really particular kind of te techno music called happy core, and it's just really sentimental kind of cartoonish, cartoonish music, but by the time we're done making a song, you know, it doesn't hardly have any traces of techno. 